This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I delete polygons using masking? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a polysphere project here loaded in. And the question is asking about using masking on a mesh, and then with that masking being applied, deleting the areas that are masked or removing those polygons from my model. So how can I go by doing this? So as an example, with this polysphere here, first let's just apply some masking. So to do this, I'm just going to hold down the control key, which is going to give me my mask pen. And now I can click and drag on my canvas, which is giving me this nice mask rectangle. I can hold down spacebar to move this around. And then after I have this placed on my mesh, if I release, and I have symmetry on currently, it's going to mask each side where the symmetrical axis is found. So it's masked this area, and then since I had symmetry on, it's also masked the other side. So now I have my sphere with masking applied like this. So now with these parts of the model masked out, I now want to delete these areas. So I've gone through, maybe generated some really complex masking on my mesh, and now I want to remove that masked area. So what do I need to do? So here are two ways that you can take masking that you've applied to the model and then remove the polygons that are currently masked. So the first way is to use visibility. So I can go to the tool palette up here, and then I can scroll down to the visibility area and open this up. And in here, there is a button called hide point. Now, if you hover over this, you'll see that it's going to give you a little pop-up text here that says hide unmasked. So what this button is going to do, it's going to look at any of the unmasked areas of your model, and it's going to hide those unmasked areas. So with my example here, if I click this button, you'll see that the unmasked portions have now been hidden. And if I come down to the display properties here and turn on double, you can see that it has hidden that middle area there. So you can use this visibility option of hide points to hide the unmasked portions of your mesh. Now, I didn't want the center to be hidden. I wanted the outer areas to be hidden. So I'm going to undo this and get back to my original mesh. And what I wanted was the opposite of what the result was. So I just need to come through and now invert the mask so that the middle part is masked and then the outer parts are unmasked. Now, I've already gone through and maybe painted this really complex mask, so I don't want to repaint that to do the opposite. So I just want to invert the masking. So to invert the masking, I can come to a blank spot on my canvas. I can hold down the control key, and then I can simply click, and that will invert the masking that is applied to my current subtool. So you can see it's taken the mask parts that I have on the ends, and it's now inverted it to mask the middle section. So now with that middle section masked out, I can go back to my tool palette. I can go down to the visibility area, and now I can click hide point, and it's going to hide those outer edges since those were the parts of the model that were currently unmasked. Now, after I have those outer parts hidden, I can now delete those and so go to the tool palette. I can go to the geometry area here and go to modify topology. And then I can click the delete hidden button. And this is going to look at the visibility of the subtool. And since those parts are hidden, if I click delete hidden, it's now going to remove those from my model. And now I'm just left with something like this. And I can go back down to the display properties and turn on double. And you can see this is what currently my mesh looks like after I've deleted those parts. So that is one method you can use involving visibility and then the modified topology delete hidden functions. Now the process that I usually end up using involves using polygroups. So let's get back to the original version of my model here with those sides masked out. And the process I normally do is I'll take this masked area and then I'll use the hotkey of Control plus W. Now, when you click on Control plus W, it's going to take the masked parts of your model and it's going to convert them to a new polygroup. So with my model set up with masking, if I hit Control plus W, you'll see that those masked areas are currently going to be unmasked and then it's going to assign a new polygroup to that masked area. So you can see I have this nice green polygroup now on both those sides. Now after you have this new polygroup assigned to your model, you can now use the control shift functionality to hide or show those different polygroups. So I'm gonna hold down control plus shift. This is gonna give me my select rectangle brush. And now I'm gonna come across the green polygroup here and click, which is going to isolate that polygroup first. And then if I click it again, it's going to hide that polygroup. And you can see now I'm just left with that middle part. And now with that middle part left, I can go back to the tool palette, go to the geometry tab, 
and now do a delete hidden. And I've now removed that unmasked portion from my mesh. So the process again for this stage is just go to a model, apply some masking wherever you want it on your mesh here. After you're happy with that masking, you can just hit Control plus W on your keyboard, which is gonna give it a new polygroup. You can then isolate that polygroup, click it again to hide it, then go to the Tool Geometry Palette, and then do a Delete Hidden, and that will remove the portions of your mesh. Now there's one more thing that you can use with masking that will give you a nice clean breakup between your models. So I'm gonna apply that same mask again to the mesh here. And this time, instead of just hitting Control W, I'm gonna to go to the Geometry Palette, and I'm gonna to go to the Edge Loop area here, and I'm gonna click this Edge Loop Masked Border button. Now when you click this button, it's going to look at the masking you applied to your model, and it's going to apply an edge border around that masking, giving you a new polygroup with a clean transition. So if I click this button and have this masking applied to my mesh, you're gonna see I'm now going to get this smooth polygroup around the surface there. So it's taken that masking I had, and instead of looking directly at the topology of the surface, it's gone through and added a nice edge loop around the entire thing, and then established the polygroup. So now I have this nice kind of clean shape on my mesh generated from that masking. I can now hold Control and Shift to show it, and then click again to hide it. And now I can go to the Geometry tab, and then I can go down to the Modify Topology and click Delete Hidden again to remove that part of my model. So I hope that helps, and if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!